What's going on, YouTube fan? It's your boy Tony Two Times, and we back with another video, man. And okay, we all know Wack One Hundred. That's Game Manager, Blueface Manager, and y'all know Wack. You feel me? He got a big personality. He say certain things that people don't say, and sometimes it be touchy topics. You know, he had a podcast. Matter of fact, he was on Mike Tyson podcast, and he said something about Tupac. And it was alleged that, you know, they came to hands or whatnot. But now it's a new situation dealing with Nipsey Hussle. The first thing he said was on a No Jumper podcast. Shout out Adam22. He basically said before Nipsey got killed, he wasn't a legend. So people in Nipsey can't. They weren't really feeling that. They weren't really rocking out with that. They was like, man, whatever, you feel me? Then he also said that Eric Holder should have you know, hit Nipsey up that it should have happened because of the street code. Now, some people felt what he was saying, but a lot of people in Nipsey camp was like, nah, bro, you tripping, and when we see you, it's going to be up. It's going to be that. So Nipsey had a childhood friend, also a Bali god named J-Rock. And J-Rock, you feel me, he rocks out for Nipsey, you know? And allegedly, he caught up with Wack. And allegedly, he dropped them. Like, he knocked them out. They say Wack got up, tried to find out where he went, tried to run behind him. But after that, it was too late. The damage already was done. He got hands put on him. It wasn't looking too good for Wack. A lot of people happy it happened because a lot of people say Wack talk a lot about a lot of different situations. And he feel like he can't be touched. But at the end of the day, man, I feel like it's cool to have your opinion. But you got to be respectful with it. You feel me? I don't like calling myself a blogger because I don't feel like that's exactly what I do. I mean, that's what I do, but I try to bring a different insight. I try to bring positive stuff. I try to bring positive news. Sometimes I touch on the BS because it'd be a lot going on, and I got to bring y'all the stories that y'all want to hear. But I just feel like Game was riding around when Nipsey got killed, hurt, crying. I remember that, saying he don't care, he mad. And it's your manager, and he talking about your homie. I feel like Game should have been like, hold up, Wack, bro. Like, you tripping or whatnot. But I also believe that Wack is kind of like a publicity dude. He like getting known. He like staying in the spotlight. And he do a good job of that because everything he say is controversial. Like, he always speaking on something. He always saying something about legends and people that people look up to. Basically saying they want all that. He said Pac wasn't no gangster. He said Pac ain't no legend. He just be saying stuff. So at the end of the day, a lot of people feel like Wack got what he deserved because they feel like he talk a lot about situations and they feel like you got to stand on that when you see people. You see what I'm saying? So I don't really know Wack's story. I just know that's game manager. And like I said, that's blue face manager. To tell you the truth, I don't really know his journey. I don't know where he came from. I don't know too much about bro. I mean, he getting to the bag, he doing something right. And like I said, it's cool to have a voice, but you got to understand when you say certain things, man, some people going to want to see you about that. And that's one thing I realized when I stepped into this world, when I decided to make my first YouTube video, I'm like, man, I got to talk like I got some sense and whatever I'm saying, I got to stand on that. Because if I do make it big and I run into these dudes and they be like, bro, what you said? I want to be able to say, yeah, I said it. You feel me? Like, that's how I felt at the time. But I ain't going to disrespect nobody. It's a difference between point of view and disrespecting people. So they basically saying J-Rock handled the situation. You know, he put hands on him. And they say he knocked him out cold, you feel me? Like, the video, I ain't really, it's a lot of scuffling going on. The only video I really seen was Wack trying to come back after the fact. So I guess he was out for a minute, and then he got up, realized what happened. Then he tried to go find old boy or whatever, so... That's the situation, man. It's crazy, you feel me? At the end of the day, Nipsey people ain't playing. You know, a lot of people lost their life behind that situation after Nipsey got hit. I ain't trying to criminate nobody, but the streets weren't playing about Nipsey. They was going to handle business. A lot of Eric Holder family members and people was getting hit. So I don't know what Force Wack to say that, not thinking nobody was going to say him. He lucky they ain't coming a different way. They just put hands on him. They could have came a lot different. But yeah, man, y'all let me know what y'all think about this situation. Was Wack wrong for what he said? Was J-Rock wrong? I mean, he defended his homeboy on in my eyes. 
But if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell for uploads. Family, y'all already know what it is. Love. I'm out.